I first want to start this by uh, saying that I really appreciated your video. Um, I have just uh, begun in my religious studies, and I've been in it for about a year and a half, and I'm probably one of the um, people that's brave enough to come out and say I don't know it all, but I, I do want to respond as to why I believe in a religious life. I would probably rather say um, believe in God um, rather than religious life because a lot of people would stereotypically put me into, um, I believe you're going to hell. And uh, that isn't the case. Um, in fact, I needed uh, to find a belief that fit uh, my gut, I guess, what I felt was was more correct in what I thought. Um, I always, I wasn't a part of the exclusionary type of uh, religion or thought process or belief where you got to pick my way or it's the highway um, to you know where. Um, and I also needed to, I, I wanted a belief that took science into account and didn't have to fight science. That science was actually lifting the veil off of the big question, which I, I might start an argument, but that atheists seem to be having too is we don't know what it is out there um, and let's just wait and find out what it is and we'll just um, you know act nice to each other in the meantime um, but for me why I feel that God because your video really made me feel that uh, it gave a very very good strong case for atheism and scientific discovery and being a good person because that all resonates with my soul and the way that I feel um, so why do I put God in I put God into my life and why God has become part of my life is because it's kind of the scientific I would say um, in how I feel and the cause and effect relationship for the things that can't be answered um, with the effects that we see but we don't see the cause of that the things that um, I'm not exactly sure how an atheist would take it but for me um, miracles, uh, the things, the divine, the thing that we can't see. Um, and so I found a God that is not a guy in a beard in the sky, you know, um, you know, making decisions and pushing us around, but actually is, is omnipresent, omnipotent, um, omniscient, that is everywhere and within all of us and this is the power and this is there there is a veil between us and this this divine reality that that we can't see um, and having God in that way and having my belief makes me feel better it makes me feel more in control of my life um, I don't pray to God for things um, because if God is everywhere, then I pray with God um, and affirm the things in my life and use what uh, you know new thought would be tools in order to connect and create that cause that creates these effects that we don't understand. And that gets me excited, especially because you know some people might think it's just you know chance, luck. Uh, things happening, but for me it becomes real, and I've been able to over a year and a half um, create a very different life for myself. And I don't know how that would be explained in other religions or in atheism, um, but I've I brought more joy into my life. I, I've brought people and attracted people into my life, and that's what having a relationship, some type of relationship with God does for me and so I don't think that atheism and religion necessarily have to be uh, mutually exclusive uh, the ideas of atheism I think are the one of the biggest powerful things is that you can be aware that what you have and the filter that you put on yourself and how you see the world is that of a filter of a belief and I think with an atheist, an atheist would say that you need to be completely open to 
just letting things happen in order to be able to see them happen. Because if you put your blinders on and you put your, you know, it needs to be this way, this is the inerrant word of God, um, then scientific discovery isn't possible and uh, forward movement starts to um, slow down. So, and again, again, I, I want to appreciate, I want to thank you for the video. Um, you made me think, and I appreciate that. It definitely um, helped me resonate and um, come, with, come with new conviction in my beliefs. So, thanks.